All right, this is going to be the first ever thread milling. I've got the rapids turned down to 50 percent, and I've got the feed rate turned down to 50 percent. I've drilled the holes. The boring creates the uh, min diameter that will be in the valley of the bolt. This is slightly undersized, 0.578. It should be the tap drill, 37 64s, for a uh, 5 8 by 18. I wanted to start out a hair undersized. We'll see if it's too tight. I can increase this when I bore the next one, but this way they're all pre-drilled and I don't have to do any drilling. I, I don't have to do the facing hop either. Uh, the thread mill is going to come down. It's going to start at the bottom and it's going to helix its way up. It's going to make two passes and we'll see if it fits and how well it fits. And then we can tweak it from there. And I'm not expecting a whole lot of chips, but... Well, that's way too f deep. Glad it had it on 50% feed. Hopefully it didn't f my uh, thread mill. Looks like I need to unplug it a bit. Well, let's see. Oh, definitely too tight. But it started, that's awesome. Okay, I think I'm going to have the bore opened up to uh, closer to the correct size. I should have measured that one when uh, after it was done. Maybe I'll measure this next one. About the same. 5.74. It's getting pretty close. See, one, one of the things is, too, the reason why I don't necessarily want to jump right up to a 5.78 is because, according to the chart, that's only uh, roughly 50% thread engagement. So I'm thinking, okay, if I leave a little bit more here, that ups my thread engagement. The, the tip of the thread tool, the bottom of the thread tool, remains at least 100 thou off the bottom. I will tighten that tolerance up as I get better. Okay, that is definitely closer. That's threading further down in, so... Okay, I've got a clean heim joint here, rod end. Uh, and I just shoved the Sharpie down in there hard to get it all the way in, so... I'm 
I'm hoping that'll rub it a little bit and give me an idea if it's the... Okay, it's not in the valley, it's... It rubbed off the peaks, so that means I gotta have the thread mill go out further. Alright, for the next one, I went ahead and told the thread mill to go out 15 thousandths more, so it's a negative uh, stock to leave of uh, 20 thou right now. We'll, we'll see what that does, because I thought, you know, instead of keep sneaking up on it, you know, let's go too far, and let's, you know, let's see if I go too far. I'll go another 10 or 20 thou if this one's still too tight. Point five seven four again. Oh, what the hell? Goes from seems like it's going to be too loose to... Definitely too loose. So I told it to repeat that finish pass just in case there was any taper in the wall since that's what it seemed like going in here but I've since found that I had my thread pitch at like 0.049 instead of uh, what it should be is 1 divided by the thread pitch 18 which comes up to as uh, 0.055555 something. So I put in the correct thread pitch because when I put that the, heim, the rod end down in with the sharpie marks on it the marking was on the bottom of one thread pitch and on the top of another. Or, or vice versa. I, I don't remember. Sure. But anyway, that tells me that at some point it's binding in the thread pitch. Not because it's too tight or loose. So it was really way too loose at the top here. So uh, I changed up the uh, stock to leave a little bit. So this is back down to uh, 0 0.056... 6... 7... I got rid of the stock to leave on that, uh, trying to increase that. Uh, so I'm changing more than one thing at a time, which is taboo. But okay, that's in the bottom of the hole and it's just loose. Yeah, it was the thread pitch that was wrong to start with. Uh, I put the numbers back to where they were, and uh, I have got a really a, a pretty tight thread here. So I'm going to have to loosen it up a hair because uh, in aluminum that's a little too tight. I'll compare it with another bolt here. Oh my god, that is just friggin' beautiful. Jeez. I'm thinking I might only open it up a thou. Maybe two. But I've also been redoing the thread in here. I, I just changed the number a little bit, and so instead of doing a whole new one, so now I'm gonna do a, a whole new one and see if I still like it or whatever. So, uh, yep, yep. That's just a hair on the tight side. Yeah, tight enough it uh, wiped all my Sharpie mark off. Put the WD-40 in just to help make sure it can't possibly uh, gall up. Okay, that's all the way down. You can see the air bubbling up. Oh, man. Oh, you see that fit? Okay, I tweaked it slightly. I'm going to do a new one again. Basically, I opened up the thread pitch offset uh, one thou. Holy crap, is that nice. That's a little bit nicer than the last one there. I guess I just uh, posted this to Instagram. I guess I should shoot some video of it. So that extra one thou, I'm not getting the, the drag. I'm, I don't feel like I have to put a lubrication in there. And uh, I took it down to where it's 30 thousandths from the bottom. Uh, I figure that's close enough. But if you can see that, I could, I could make it a hair tighter. I opened it up one thou. So maybe I'll back it off for half a thou. Uh, but I am just super thrilled with that. Oh, man. Now I'll just... 
I've got a, I got a handful of things to uh, treadmill with this particular 5.8 five by 18. Come on. There we go. I guess, I guess it helps if you actually have it standing straight up. That is an awesome place to end the day on.